Hello everyone, it is I, Steven Nux, bringing you another update on Sonic Boom. Today, Sega released some news about the Marine the Raccoon looking character that I was ranting about in my last video. I stated that this character should be Marine, and if it isn't, well, it's just a bad design character. While I still stand by the fact that I wish, you know, Marine was in the game, I think the character looks too close to Marine, I gotta give credit where credit is due. Keep in mind, in that video, I ranted about the design. We knew nothing about that character, therefore, I couldn't really tell you what I thought about the character. All I could say was the design design look like marine, it's not marine, why is it not marine? But now that we know the character's name, personality, and voice actress and everything, I am proud to say that I really, really love what they're doing with this character. First of all, the character's name is Styx the Badger, our very first Badger in Sonic, which again adds on to that originality I love about Sonic Boom so far. And I really want to get into why I really think this character is a great idea. See, I was all for new characters in Sonic Boom, it's just my main complaint was that it looked too close to Marine, and while it still does, you know, in 3D it, start, it looks better to me now that we see an up close model of it and I think she stands on her own I think after hearing her voice and everything I can easily say that she's not Marine the Raccoon and Sega was very aware of that when going through this so I have to give him that credit and because this is a new series they get to experiment with things and because this is one of the newest characters since this whole comedy era in Sonic this whole new era in Sonic they get to do a lot with this character and you can just tell from the trailer the voice is very distinct it's very ear catching it's very different for Sonic and I like that, I love different, and she just fits with the crew because they all look so adventurous and everything. She looks like she works and I'm really looking forward to how she's going to act in this new universe. Her voice actress, Nika Futerman, I think that's how you pronounce it, did a really good job. I love her voice. It sounds distinct and she knows what she's trying to be, like she's really into this character and I like that. I like when the actors do that. I also like the backstory. She's this character that's been on her own for a really long time and I guess she teams up with Sonic and this crew and everything. Everything. That sounds cool to me. I'm all for that idea. And this character Styx becomes friends with Amy and I guess they have some kind of friendship. It's always nice to see Amy having a friend that's not Cream the Rabbit so I like when friendships are made. That excites me. In fact, every time I get to hear about any character development in any Sonic game, it excites me because we haven't seen any of that in a long time. And I'm not counting Sonic and Tails, I'm talking about like the other characters. And I love how she got her own trailer. If anything, that is going to make her relevant in the series. Because with them bringing attention to her in this trailer, a lot of people are going to know about her beforehand, they're going to expect to see her in the games and in the TV show. Now I'm not sure if she's going to be in the games, maybe it's been announced, maybe it hasn't, I don't know, I don't know at the moment, but of course she's going to be in the television. Show. And I also like that she's a part of the main group, like so it's not just who we thought it was going to be, there's also this other character, probably there for some comic relief, and we know that she's smart and everything, it's just, it's so cool, I love new characters. So overall, I'm really glad that this situation came out great, because I had a feeling that I wouldn't like this character because it wasn't Marine. But after learning about her and after hearing her voice and what she does in the series, I'm proud to say she's a nice female addition to the Sonic series. Even though she's not in the modern Sonic canon, she's still a new character and people are going to remember her because she's a new staple. Just like Blaze and Rouge when they were new, they're staples now. This character could be a staple, I love that. And honestly, I don't count the Deadly Six, they don't look like Sonic characters to me and they don't feel like Sonic characters, they're more like bosses. So really she's the first new character we've had in a long time. I want to say since Silver, I know Chip was there, but Silver feels more like a Sonic character, so since Silver, she's like the next character, you know. So yeah, great character. I love that they're bringing fresh ideas to the table like I'd expect them to do, and Sonic Boom is still looking really good. I'm really liking this universe. So as usual, I want you guys to tell me what you think of Styx the Badger. Do you like the name? Do you hate the name? Do you like the character? Do you hate the character? And also tell me what you think about her voice because I know a lot of you know me for my opinions on voice actors. I like the voice, I actually really like the voice. This new voice actress is a really great addition, and honestly I hope Cindy Robinson improved. It's cool seeing Cindy Robinson in the interview because she knows she has to face this angry crowd of Sonic fans that just don't like her, so that made me happy whenever I seen her there. She seems like she's having fun playing the role of Amy Rose, hopefully she just sounds good doing it. I'm Steven Ux, and I'll talk to you guys later.